We have got all sorts of topsy-turvy shenanigans going on here. I got lots of moving parts. I got all sorts of shit. So we are going to do this. We are going to go to the old Skip Skype. The old skype Rooney, as they say. da 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 I'm going to leave the old Skype. Let's see if they pick the Skype up. There we are. Perfect. I there think. we are. There we are. Okay. Pete, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, James. How about you? <laughs> Pretty good, actually. Uh, we have got uh, Pete, not the cat, the human, uh, subbing for us, uh, subbing for Pam Oaks today here in a broadcast. And the only reason why I bring up the fact Pete, the human, not the cat, is that the Pete the cat is sitting up on my desk, and Pete the human is right above him on Skype, which is uh, fantastic today. <laughs> it's like a Pete on Pete sandwich today. That's right. Uh, Togetherness. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so Pete, you have got what thirty plus years of automotive experience. Talk to me a little bit about. Uh, what got you into doing automotive stuff? Well, I just well, basically I just started basically with my, started my older brother, was, my mechanic, older brother was mechanic, and I kind of like the cars, you know, even back then, you know, my, you know, my 10, 12 years you know, old, 10, 12 years old, I liked helping him, I liked helping him, I saw how he fixed cars, I saw how he fixed cars, I just took an interest to it, and it just kind of went from there, went from there, and then I started working for an Napa Distribution Center for parts, way back Oh. Way back in '88, and, and then, then it's between parts, between parts and, and selling parts over the selling counter, parts over the uh, counter, working at uh, working at shop for shop 18, for 18 years, had, 18 my, own had my own shop for two years, and worked at and worked shops at various since shops since I've been up here in the Tampa area. area. So it's just something that it's something that I seem to be good at. I seem to be good at, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it, and I like being able to help customers with their car troubles. So that's that's fantastic. That's cool. So, uh, well, what's been some of the most difficult auto repairs that you've run into over your time? Uh, it just mainly, it just mainly since, since you know over the years, you know, over the years, it's, it's been mainly trying to diagnose, trying to diagnose a car that's mainly it's got mainly it's got problems. intermittent problems. Um, yeah. normally, when yeah. shows, normally when it shows up, it's not doing, it's not the, problem. doing the problem. Then they take, then it, they home, take they it home, they call you half half screaming, at you. screaming at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's doing like, it now, it's doing it now, it's doing it now. Like, well, well, it didn't do it here before. I'm just not going to start throwing parts at it because that's not the way to fix the car. You got a good idea what it might be, but you have to have the car failing before you can diagnose it properly and fix it properly. That's the only way to do it. We have got a, a great guest with us today. He joins us live, and uh, so Pete, uh, you, you mentioned that you you had your own shop for a, a number of years. Yeah, for a couple of years. Uh, yeah, I worked years. with Pam. Yeah, I worked with Pam uh, for eighteen uh, years. For eighteen in years in her yeah. shop, and then, and then when she, when she well, we both quote, quote, retired, quote, retired quote, unquote, unquote, didn't last very long. Boredom, boredom. Needed something to do. Needed something to do. So, so, I, opened so I opened my own little shop, shop and I just started, started out doing tires, which I was real good at. And just general maintenance, general maintenance stuff. No diagnostics stuff. No diagnostics or anything. General maintenance. General maintenance, keeping the car running, keeping brakes, the car running, you know, brakes, belts, you know, belts, uh, doing tires, uh, doing tires, changes, things oil like changes, that. things like that. And I just slowly built up until and then Hurricane Irma decided that was enough. That was the end of that. That was the end of that. Wow. wow. I, made it wow. I had a lot of fun doing that too. Just I was in the class, class, by, class myself by myself and I just it. loved it. Nobody, no, to, have nobody to have to watch over me. I knew the job was getting done right, so that was a good thing. Fantastic. So, uh, some some of the some of the, I guess some of the easy problems that people think are terribly hard. What what have you run into over the years? Well, well, the thing, the thing that I've seen is, is when they go to when another they go shop to before they came to us, basically, just, basically you just use Pam's shop, Pam shop for an example. And they've got a and they've got a grocery list, list two pages long, long of what the car needs. And they come and they come to us. They're panicky. They're, they're, panicky, scared, they're scared. They're, they're angry. Angry. 
angry. Then you get the car. Then in the you garage, get the car in the garage. And I mean. 90, usually, ninety-five percent of the stuff they recommended or said to use, you don't need. They don't, you don't need. need. They don't need. And there's a big sigh of relief, and, then, relief, and, then, and then that's, that's how you get a customer for life, just, life, just being honest with them. With them. That's, awesome. that's awesome. That's awesome. That's but, fantastic. Uh, yeah, there's just yeah, there's just especially like especially like up north like cars, up north cars um, um, rust factor with rust factor when they come down here. It makes doing it makes doing metallic repairs like doing like brake lines and things like that. Those always add a tendency to add a tendency. Burst, see the burst just because the rust just because the rust factor the from the snow and, snow and salt and, salt and everything i never lived that saw the cars i saw the cars the after effect sometimes it could get sometimes it could get nasty and sometimes they just couldn't fix them because it was just it was just too bad yeah yeah so uh what 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 do you end up recommending in those aspects where 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 it's just too too screwed up to fix well we just well we tell just them we tell them fix we it. can't fix it um, um like and just saying like, for example just saying for example go back to brake lines again you can't put a band-aid on something like that that's got to be done properly and sometimes the and customer, sometimes the customer you know junks the you know, car junks the car um, that's um, usually most of the time usually what most of the time what happens because doing, doing brake lines doing brake lines is a big job because you have to some of the cars some of the cars you can't get the brake lines already pre-made already pre-made Made dealership, anymore from the, the dealership. Mechanic has to, mechanic has to fabricate them. Fabricate them. Basically, basically. Put them all, oh, yeah, wow. put them all yeah, together. Yeah, that's very, very, yeah, time very, very time consuming. Parts aren't really bad. Parts it's aren't really bad. It's just the labor. You can anywhere from five, to, from five to, to eight to ten hours to get the brake lines and stuff squared away, and people don't want to spend the money. This car is not worth it. I'll go buy something else, and that's usually what happens. So, how do people get more information on what you're up to and what you're doing online? Well, I'm not doing well, a whole, I'm not doing a too, whole much too much online. Um, um, I just I just basically basically um, I just I just working at stopped working at our shop, shop and I just shop started, and I just picking, up started job picking up a job at um, at a parts store at a parts right store now. right um, now. I don't have my own um, website. I don't have my own website or whatever, or whatever but, um, but um, usually on usually Pam's on Pam's you website you should probably see a picture, see a picture, picture of me in there picture of me in there doing something somewhere so doing something. So that her and I are just working that her and I are just working together and kind of everything right now. But I am on that's awesome. I'm on LinkedIn. And that's that's my and main that's, that's my main source. You know, everybody's got, you know, everybody's got automotive, automotive questions. But there's a lot of automotive, automotive texts to get on LinkedIn as well. Um, um, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Um, um, but yeah, that's basically but, it. yeah, that's basically it. Good stuff. Well, Pete, it's uh.